Hi everyone and welcome back to another Wear It Wednesday with my little twinsy. We've got little Octavia here matching me and I can't wait to go over the outfit with you guys and share the photo shoot and pictures. But for starters, if you are new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell underneath that so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Share around this channel to help it to grow. And definitely shoot Octavia and me a thumbs up. Let's get started, everyone. Great to see each and every one of you and great to go over another fashion look. We got little Octavia matching us too, so I'll go over her outfit as well. But for starters, as always, we're going to do our reading, our words of Jesus for women. And we'll try to do this holding little Octavia in my hands, the little heavy little brute here. <laughs> All right, we are on... Um, let's see. We did that one. We did that one. <clears throat> okay. I don't think I did this one. It's one day at a time. Matthew 6, 11. Give us today our daily bread. And it goes on to say, the Lord's prayer that Jesus taught his followers Ask God to supply our daily needs. Just what is needed for this day? Ask for the food you need for this day, the help you need for this day, the comfort and strength you need for this day, not tomorrow or next week or a year from now. Don't worry about the future and don't ask to stockpile God's blessings. Trust God to meet your needs one day at a time. Because remember, God never promises us a tomorrow. He always says live for today. And today has enough stress in its own, enough anxiety and all of it. So he says worry for the day since it has its own worry and not worrying about tomorrow or what's going to happen next week. Sure, plan out what you're doing if you've got a job or, you know, something's coming up, you know, you want a, an event you're going to. Of course, you can look forward to that and get your outfit ready or whatever you're doing and plan it out. But don't worry about tomorrow because tomorrow is never, you know, never promised to us. We always just live for today. What a great one. And I like that just one day at a time. And God is saying, give us today our daily bread and only worry about the, you know, the day's needs just for the day, because we don't need to stockpile God with a whole bunch of stuff. He already knows our needs before we even ask. But of course, it's okay to ask him for those needs, but let's just do it on a daily basis. Let's not focus on tomorrow. Like I said, who knows the world could end. Jesus could return. How great would that be to be in heaven? But you know what? Let's just worry for today because there's so much to worry about. Tomorrow will have enough worry in itself again. So let's just worry for today and ask God for help for just today. Always asking him for, you know, for help with the needs, but also thanking him for all that he does. Let's start by thanking him. For instance, thanking him for the day. If he woke you up today, thank him for it. If he gave you another day, and again, you know, thank him for all the wonderful blessings and be kind and gentle and loving to everyone, even thy enemy, especially thy enemy. Be kind to them, wish no harm upon them. And let's live our life the best that we can and just live it for today. Because you know what? When you add a lot of stress on your plate, it just makes things worse, right? It adds a lot of anxiety. So let's just worry about today and not think about tomorrow because tomorrow we'll get here and then we'll think about tomorrow. So the bottom says, Dear Father, thank you for meeting my daily needs. Thank you for the many times you're not only that you not only met my needs, but also wants. Your blessings are abundant and constant. Thank you so much. And then it ends in, in Jesus' name, amen. That is so beautiful. I love that. I love that. So like I always say, start your day, go through your day, and end your day. We're trying to get it turned around because I got her in the other arm. Start your day, go through your day, and end your day with life's manual. Read it. Get a great personal relationship 
uh, reading the Holy Bible. This is what, how, you know, how we're truly supposed to live. So let's open it up, blow the dust off and read it because you're going to feel so much better when you're reading his word and you're not worrying about tomorrow. You know, you know, you got your salvation. If you've won your salvation, you know where you're going. There's no reason to worry. Let's just focus on today, but pick it up and get a great personal relationship with Jesus. God's son, the one that took on the sins of the world for us and died for each and every one of us. As he was up on that cross, he was thinking of each and every one of us. So just remember that and remember, sorry about that, guys. My alarm went off as always, but I was saying just, you know, get your salvation and get right with the Lord today and pick up this book and read it. You're going to love everything it has to say in here. And it's how we're supposed to live. It's how we're supposed to live. And like I was saying, just worry for today because today has enough worry in itself. All right, let's go over this adorable outfit I chose for this week. We're doing jeans and a sweater. It's a nice, casual, but classy, you know, in a nice, classy way. I really love the way it turned out, but nice and casual. And we've got little Octavia matching me with her little sweater and her little black pants and even the white shoes, her little white lace socks and her big bow like her mom. I've got my headband in. She's got her headband. So we'll start off with little Octavia. She's got on a little white onesie and she's got on a little white sweater that tie, you know, just at the top, kind of like the way my sweater is, how it crosses off just at the top there. I do have two strings on mine, but hers just closes off at the top. And then she's got the little white, uh, sorry, white, black leggings. That's got the little ruffle butt. She's got the ruffle on the butt. If you guys can see that, I hope you can see that. I'll lift it up there and, you know, we always love baby's butts with the ruffle on it. And then we've got the nice big black bow for her bald head. I love her with bows with that bald head. And then we've got little lacy um, socks, you know, the little uh, beautiful white lace socks and the little patent leather white uh, little shoes and then her gray pacifier. I didn't have a white or a black pacifier. I need to get one, but we thought the gray would match with it. So she matches mommy perfect. And then I'm going to go over and show you my outfit. This outfit, um, I got all the pieces kind of all over the place from uh, my good friend Jaden. I got the socks from Walmart, the little pants and shirt and uh, uh, onesie I got from um Somebody online on Facebook Market, I got a lot of baby clothes from there. And then uh, the bow I got from Walmart as well and the pacifier from Walmart. All right, let's go over my outfit. We'll sit little Octavia back here so we can go over my outfit. We'll sit her up nice and her little shoe is popping off. These little shoes are a little bit big for her, but I got them from my good friend Jaden and they just went so good. All right, so I am wearing, and I'll list everything down below. I've got a two-piece sweater look on here. Came with two pieces. It's a uh, tank top and it's a crop. It is a crop, but it's a tank top done in the exact same as this, the over sweater. So it's white with like little uh, holes on it. And then the sweater ties off in two spots. This one came untied, so we'll tie that one. I don't know how that came untied. But it's got the two ties on it and it's a little crop. And then I will stand up and show you. I'm wearing a pair of black um, uh, jeans that look like leather, you guys. They actually look like a black leather. I hope you're able to see that shininess to it and um, see how, you know, just uh, like how awesome they look. I love how form-fitting. They're a high-waisted. I do have a belt on with it. I belted it with a black belt. But I love them. They're shapers. I love the shape in them. They are a skinny jean. Um, with uh, a little bit of give and a little bit of stretch to it and to, made to look like a leather. So it went great with this little crop. And there's the back of them. I love the back of the jeans too. Like I said, they are a jean. They got all kinds of pockets and everything, but they look like black leather. I love them. They're like a boyfriend jean. They do have uh, part of the ankle showing. So you'll see that in the video. Well, actually you won't because my boot covers it up. So I can just kind of show you. You see it, it rolls up a little bit. It's the boyfriend jean. Uh, but it's got the look of leather. I'll list it down below where I got it. And I got the shirt at the same place. So I love it. I love the black and white. I always love a classic black and white look. And you can do it in so many. You can do it very elegant all the way down to, you know, just casual with just like sweatpants and a white sweatshirt would look great. Or, you know, a uh, black sweatshirt with white uh, sweatpants. So, you know, you can class it down or class it up. I've done it in a classy uh, but casual way. And I really like the way it turned out matching these awesome black and white nails that I did. I love the way they turned out that retro look. I thought, you know, they were really amazing. So that's the sweater in the jeans. 
And like I said, matching with little Octavia there. We'll just kind of keep her in the back there so we can go over everything. And then I paired it with this uh, choker, this black choker. And I love it. It's got the chain on it and it's got the little beads that hang down too. And the matching earrings. The earrings are just a little black bead. Hopefully you can see that. And then the, ma the matching choker necklace I thought would be perfect with this look. And then the leather headband. Isn't that cool? I love that headband. It's got the knot in the middle, but it's done in the leather because I wanted it to kind of match the pants with that leather look. So we went with the leather headband. And I will link that down below too where I got that. And I did my hair today more of a wet, messy look. So it's kind of like, you know, that look when you, your hair gets wet and it dries or whatever. But you got that messy look. And I saw some of the curl to the end. But I went with just more of a messy look today. I thought it would look, you know, sensual and sexy with this outfit with that black leather look. Uh, kind of like that biker look. You know, I just wanted that really wet and wild and messy look. And then with that great headband. I love that. Okay, so then the makeup palette I went with in the lip color, I went with the Cirica. So I went with grays and blacks on my eyes and white for the highlight. I want Octavia to show, so I'll move over. Um, but like I always tell you guys, when I do grays and whites and blacks on my eyes, it gives me more of a gray look to my eye, and I love it. So the blue, you know, sometimes it looks more blue, sometimes it looks more like whitish gray, and that's what look I get when I'm wearing like whites and blacks on my eyes, and that color, you know, the white or black in the clothing I'm wearing. So you can see the eyes are more kind of a grayish blue. And I did the Cirica palette and I used all three colors in here. So I started with that on the eyelid and this one is called the Platinum Drama. You can get it from CVS or Walgreens. Um, maybe even Walmart, but I believe it was just Walgreens and CVS. I got this from CVS, but I did see it at, uh, at um, Wal Walgreens as well. So that's on the eyelid. Then I went with, the, and I wanted to stick with these chromes so I went to the one right next to it that's in chrome in the black and I did that to smoke it out um, in the crease. And then for the highlight, I went with this one, which is also chromey, which is white. It's almost out, but it's a white. I went with that under the eyebrow and on the inner eye. And then as you see, I've got eyelashes. They're the same eyelashes I got for, um, I think, I believe in that Christmas box I got for my good friend Jaden. I got to wear them again. This is the third time I've worn them. They're wispy and beautiful and I love that I can get at least two or three wears out of them. And I'm thinking I can maybe even get one more out of this one, depending when I take them off tonight. Uh, but I love the wispiness. They're a full dramatic wispy lash. They're the Ioni that you can get from Dollar Tree. And then also the, the lip color I'm wearing today is called Luscious Wine. It's a beautiful red wine, uh, more to the red, but it is called wine. But it's a beautiful red, and red always looks great when you wear white and black. It always looks great. So I did a red lip color, and it looks great with the eye makeup and everything. So I love that. So it's the LA color, and it was called Luscious Wine. Again, I will link it down below for you guys. And the sunglasses I went with were these, the heart-shaped ones. I thought they were rocker-like and, and just cute, too. I thought it would look cute since this is a cute, you know, cute look. Um, like I said, casual classy, cute. So I thought the heart glasses would go good, but also look, you know, kind of hot too. I thought the heart glasses would be really hot looking in the black like that. So we did the sunglasses just for fun, even though the photo shoot is done inside. I still wanted to do the glasses with it. And then for the bag and the shoes, the bag I'm doing my Michael Kors. My son got me a few years back for Mother's Day. So I did the Michael Kors bag with it. And I like that. Just a nice, you know, hand bag just to hold, but a nice, a great bag. It's got the nice hardware on it with the um, foot, uh, you know, the, sorry, the, the metal pieces on the bottom to stand it up. Um, and then that beautiful little lock that hangs off of it. And then it says Michael Kors right there. And then in the inside, it's got two pockets on each side and then the zipper in the middle there. A great purse. I really love it. And it's got the fan look on the side. I absolutely love it. I haven't used this for a while, but you know, Michael Kors, boy, it holds up. My son got this a few years ago and it's like, it's still brand new. So I thought it would look great with this look to use. This is the bag, you know, for the day and then for the shoe. And I love these. I got them a few months ago and have not got a chance to wear them yet. And they went perfect with this. So I was so glad. And you know, winter time, we love to rock the boots and I love those rugged Rambo type boots. So we got these here, the white with black. Look at that with the black string. And you just zip them up. The string is there for fun. You can loosen the string, but you don't have to. Once you get it where you like it, you just unzip it and take it out and put your foot in and zip it back up. 
I love these, you guys. I love them. And they went so great with the white like this and then the black leather type jeans. It just looked awesome with that Rambo type boot for the winter. Perfect, you guys. Absolutely love, love, love the shoes. I'm a shoe lover. So I love the way this look all turned out. And I was glad I got a chance to wear them because I thought, well, I haven't wore those yet. And I really want to get those wore because they are, you know, a winter boot and perfect for the winter time, fall and winter. And I thought, when am I going to wear them? I want to wear them. And I thought, oh my gosh, this was so perfect. So really happy with that. And we've got Octavia, like I said, with us today, joining us, matching her mommy with the black and white. And she is in the photo shoot with me and the photo. So I hope you guys will enjoy that. I hope you enjoyed the video on Sunday where we did her uh, feeding and changing and, uh, you know, had a lot of fun doing that. And I'll be doing baby videos on Tuesday. So it's Baby Talk Tuesdays and share it uh, Sunday videos. And sometimes I'll share it on a Saturday if I miss a keto treat video. Then I'll do a, a baby video on Saturday. So we'll try to get two baby videos in a week. Just sharing the babies with you guys. My uh, uh, little full silicone baby here, Octavia. And then, of course, my reborn I showed you, Um uh, Aurora, and then my other full body uh, preemie, micro preemie, little boy silicone. I'll be sharing him as well. So yeah, we got to share Octavia today and she's matching her mommy. Don't we look good? Let's get a photo. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, anyways, but yeah, I just had so much fun and I always wanted to do that. I always said if I ever had a little girl that I would do um, videos with her matching her mother, you know, like in uh, outfit videos once in a while. So once in a while, you're going to see Octavia matching me in an outfit of the day for my uh, Wear It Wednesdays. Sometimes we'll throw her in there matching me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you look and I hope you look forward to the photo shoot and the photos, enjoying it with little baby Octavia. And I hope you enjoyed that Bible verse. Remember, let's just worry for the day because it has enough worry for itself. And I hope everybody is staying safe happy and healthy and leaning on the Lord, and that today you got your salvation. My good friend Jaden got his today. Today is January 30th, 2022. He got he won his salvation today, so praise God. He'll be going to heaven with me. I'm so happy about that, that we did that prayer tonight, and he believes and he's going to heaven with me, so it's all locked and sealed. Get your salvation today and write it down. You'll never forget. All right, everyone, let's get on to this video. Everybody take care. God bless, and I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Say bye. Whoops.